Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? Welcome to my uh, Fallout 76 daily atom challenges and afterwards we'll also reveal the atomic shop on the items that are about to leave the atom shop or some special offers are ending within the next 24 hours. So uh, we changed our approach a little bit and we'll be starting off with the daily challenges today. The super easy ones that you can complete within the next 10 minutes as soon as you log into the game. Uh, there's going to be three and uh, you'll be able to earn 30 atoms really quick. For the other 30 atoms there is going to be a little tango tango moment that you gotta go. So we need to craft 50 ammo. So pretty much one, two, and three. And it's not working. <laughs> Lol. Hold on a second. I thought that's the way it works. No, I thought wrong. Wait. I definitely crafted more than that. What's going on? Stupid game. Alright. Fine. It's just like this. Bam. Uh, 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 uh. Give me the ammo, baby. <laughs> Alright, so that's the first. Super easy. Don't forget to use your uh, ammo smith and the duper card to get even more uh, ammo. So, let's get on with the next challenges, shall we? So, the first one is kill 10 roaches in the Toxa Valley. Toxa Valley is this location here. I found three roaches in this fort, so once you fast travel, uh, you'll need to go all the way up to the... Okay, hold on. Let me show it to you from the point. <laughs> so if you fast travel, you end up over here. You gotta do... What you gotta do is run straight up all the way up to all those forts aka small houses over here and uh, there are gonna be a f three roaches I found so far maybe I will find one more but anyway if you spook around all these houses you'll definitely find a roach plus there's gonna be a locked door over here you'll need the lock picking skill one and you'll kill this guy right here the other location where I found is where L99 is uh, at the shooting club so if you navigate over there, over there, I found two, but maybe there are more, I'm not sure. <laughs> so these are like the two spots that I've just been running around for the last five minutes, jumping from one and just sort of like super speed run through and cockroaches love the shadow, you know, you gotta go into a sneaky peeky little uh, house <laughs> you find yourself a roach. <laughs> anyway, so the other two guys I found over here, uh, roaches, so the dead body should be somewhere here. There's one, there's two, there's three, okay, Al killed one. So there's four, okay, so we got four roaches here. There you go. Al took down two. <laughs> Good job, Al. Love you. <laughs> the next super easy challenge is to build walls, roofs, and so on. So what I would recommend is to build a, a wooden foundation and then <clears throat> not the big wall, but the small one. It'll be easier for you to scrap it and just to build it. So you don't have to build an entire, I don't know, Empire State Building. Because <laughs> previously I used to build the foundation and big walls and I just kind of had to jump to build all <laughs> everything else. And then sort of the small work and the foundation. Maybe a good idea to make um, a blueprint out of 10 builds so next time this event pops you just simply go to your blueprints, bam, and you get your 10 atoms. So that's uh, the daily challenge for building walls, roofs, etc. at your workshop or camp. Alright, so I've covered the ammo. You just grab the ammo, you get your 10 atoms. Kill roaches in the toxic valley and you'll get 10 atoms. So three over here and uh, four over here, right? So then also the building challenge to build walls, roofs, uh, floors and so on. Uh, the next one could be a little catchy as the kill the sheep squash. Uh, number one, I know for a fact, well, the, uh, what was it, free range event, if you see it, go there because there's definitely going to be a sheep squash there. Uh, the two 
places I know of where I've seen Sheep Squash is if you fast travel to this transmission key max and run till this point, sometimes you have an, a, a chance to find a Sheep Squash. Also, if you just run through the entire road, you also have a definitely a chance of fighting a Sheep Squatch. Because usually I find these dudes uh, while running in, on this road 65. Uh, and also, a little small chance you can find them in Braxton's quality medical uh, supplies. So, over there also. It, it, they change all the time. It can be a freaking uh, Centrum bot. It can be... a Myler Kings with Scourge, it can be the Sheep Squatch, it can be... It, it, they always change, pretty much. So, in Sheep Squatch, I might, if I see a free range today on the live stream, I'll do it as well. Afterwards, we have the level up with uh, where you need to do three sub-challenges, that's how I call these things. So, pretty much what you need to do is to level up one time and complete three um, of the following sub-challenges. So, level up while intoxicated, engaged PvP, diseased, yielding uh, an axe, well-tuned, well-rested, exploring a nook region, caves, mines, wearing a full clown costume, sleepwear, in a workshop under your level 20, and level up if you're a level 76 or above. Right. So if you do any of these uh, at the same time, you'll get additional 10 atoms. For the nuclear winter, we've got uh, kill six players. <laughs> I don't know. I really want to start playing nuclear winter, but I think I'm going to start uh, nuclear winter <clears throat> in a week, maybe. Once the 25% uh, discount ends on the legendary vendor, because I want to take a full advantage out of it. And it starts tomorrow, by the way, on the 26th of November. So I hope you saved your script. So, if you don't know what Legendary Render is, it's this station right there, there's uh, a, a chica or whatever, and you sell your script, Legendary Scripts to her, and she gives you a random melee range, the uh, armor, 3, 1 star, 2 star, all, all upon your selection. So, uh, so yeah, I hope you saved, your, saved up your script, because I'm going to script it tomorrow, and then I'm going to try to get with all three characters again all the scripts, and script it once more, so I'll take it. Uh, I sort of will be able to get a good deal. <laughs> it's 3,000 scripts, not bad. Uh, oh yeah, which reminds me, I did make a community post that my legendary vendor series that I do on every Monday were delayed until Wednesday. So tomorrow I'll do the scripting, but on Wednesday I'll publish the video. So fingers crossed. All right. So challenges, challenges. Oh wait, challenges. We're done with challenges. Yes, sir. We're done. For the weeklies, I've covered them on the Tuesday. Most of you might have already completed those, so I've did these ones. They're super easy. This one I can't be bothered to dealing with, or maybe I'll deal I'll deal with them today on the stream. Don't know. Let's see. All right. So, actually, that's a good idea. I'll do that on the stream. So, the Atomic Shop. Since today is Monday, tomorrow is Tuesday. On a Tuesday, the Atomic Shop renews. Uh, that means a lot of items are leaving the Atomic Shop. It's not these ones. <laughs> and not these ones either so uh, returning back for a limited time these are all leaving tomorrow so the bear mascot the uh, blackbird hunting rifle paint by the way if you own any of these you might want to provide some feedback tactical ops I already gave my feedback it's an under armor and uh, I don't know it's pricey good for battle royale nuclear winter I tried it actually and I use it so for battle royale definitely a good thing for this adventure mode private servers, I don't know. I'm not wearing. I'm wearing Vol uh, Vault 76. <laughs> Grillmaster outfit. I already said my two cents about this outfit. Two se uh, 720 atoms. Expensive when we have the ability uh, to get the this outfit bloodied and it looks more cool, more survivalish. Uh, the Pip Boy black paint. I would recommend getting this one because it really fits into with any of your uh, outfits or you know outfits. <laughs> Nuki Shine Workbench really looks nice and oh, like pro style. If you want to make a good bar, definitely gonna get get that one. Toy Stash, yeah. Uh, Alphine Horn, it's cheap, it's cool, but I don't always use it, plus you can interact with it and it makes noise, like doo doo doo, depending on how many times you click on it. Tom Turkey Player Icon should be free in my opinion. 
uh, flyer helmet set. I don't know. I mean, <clears throat> I don't like it. Not my thing anyway. So whatever this suit is named, I can't even pronounce it. <laughs> uh, your call. Uh, I don't like it. I'm not gonna get it. Uh, the meat cooler. It's it's cool, but in my opinion, it's bulky. So in my, if you're running like a crazy chef build, then maybe a, a good thing to go for. And uh, forgot to mute my game. I hate when the music starts playing because I might get copyrighted for that. Golden Year set. Uh, I pass. I have a lot of furniture and uh, whatever this stash is. Appalachia Rust Rustic stash box. I don't see point in buying different stash options when <clears throat> we have like a lot of different items that you can build to their sort of our stash. So <clears throat> wasting 350 items on the stash skin, I don't know, it's not my thing. I bought only one, it's a dark one, and because it actually fits whatever, you know. Flame uh, <clears throat> fireman paint for the flamethrower. If you're using a flamethrower, you might want to get it. Uh, fire axe, same, same goes here, it's a set to get those player icons and can't be bothered. By the way, quick note, Grey Wall is ending today and it's free. So if you haven't logged in this week, uh, today is your last day to claim this wallpaper. And this wallpaper is really, really nice. It's, it might be even better than what I what I like, this is this one. So this set, I got it just for this, it looks OP and really nice. Uh, then the demi suit I made a review on the Tuesday video last week uh, I'm not gonna get it I have it made shown it to you uh, I decided not to grab this one the red tires uh, shown it in the yesterday video and today this under armor is leaving which once again uh, for battle royale but it will actually look good if you have the full power I mean my bad a full skin for uh, a full set first of all with legendary effects for the what is it called combat armor and if you have this one actually it might even look cool they kind of combine it the, the patriot paint or the blood washed uh, but I don't think it will I think the black one will look nice the under armor speaking hmm. I don't know well, my sets are all randomized, so I don't even see what I'm wearing as of an Ender Armor. And that's, uh, I think, pretty much it, right? Yeah, that's pretty much... Yeah, that's it. So we've covered the challenges as well. I hope this video helped you out, and if it did, you know the drill. Don't forget to leave the like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those words get triggered. And your comment is not visible to anybody else. Only I can read those, but I can't react to them, so I delete them. Have that in mind. Uh, please do not promote third-party websites that sell guns, scabs, services, whatever. For real money, that is something I do not support, and you will get banned. So don't mention any company names. Don't try to sell your stuff on eBay in my comments because you're going to get banned. Eh, nobody's going to like you if you try to do that. Uh, and yeah, if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine, so I'm from Ukraine. And uh, if you want to help my channel grow, please do consider sharing this uh, video somewhere in the media, such as Facebook or Twitter or any other social media platform, or recommend me to a friend, for instance. Yeah, please. <laughs> anyway, uh, if optional, obviously. I do appreciate all the support I get and all the help I get, so thank you very much. Arigato. And, uh, that's pretty much it. Z Clan, everybody else, you have a good money day and night, whatever you guys talking at, and I'll see you on the next video. By the way, don't forget to hit the bell if you don't want to miss out on the live streams or the daily uploads that I do on this channel for Fallout 76, as this is for now the main game for this channel. So, I'll see y'all later. Bye.